first foul of the evening, brought to you in association with Harris's, Harris Solicitors. It's a boxing contest to be followed with three two-minute rounds. So introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Harris to. His opponent standing across the cage, hanging out the red corner. You'll see me, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Madam Sexby. We've got ourselves a boxing match. We do. Reese taking on Masim. We saw uh, Reese at last combat challenge. He, he did. Was, uh, he was finished off with some savage body shots, but we looked really, really good up until that point. So he, he did. Yeah. Expecting some good things from the man in the blue shorts. Don't know a lot about the team, do we? No, point. not at the moment. No. He's light on his feet. Early doors. Good head movement. Both guys moving well. The, uh, the Southpaw Drummond caused a few problems with that uh, that hard left hand last time. You see him landing it quite nicely already in this first round. There's a left cut there as well, just missed with the right. Neither guy worried about uh, getting in that phone box, swinging. Uh, good movement from the guys though as well. Good shots been landed, good movement from Mateen as well. He's not backing off straight away, he's trying to angle out where he can. And uh, Reese putting his combinations together really nice, little double jab. Left up cut there, he was successful with that as well, just uh, hit the shoulder there with the right hook. Big right there from the team. Oh. But he's going to have to watch himself ducking down to that right hand side every time because uh, Reese yeah. could well time him on that if you get. He's piece already piece thrown that uh, short left hook up twice, so I was just throwing it again there, Al, exactly mm -hmm. like you're talking about. He's uh, he has to be very careful dropping his level, isn't he? There's a the body, body show him there. <laughs> <laughs> right hook there from, uh, from Reese. Both guys looking really nicely relaxed. Nice and fluid. Yeah, steady, aren't they? Just uh, a little bit short on his punches, his machine at the moment. He's throwing some, uh, some good looping shots, but he's not quite got his range right where he can commit. <laughs> Just as we were talking about there. <laughs> the, uh, big shot over the top. Both guys not getting paid by the hour here, by the looks of things. <laughs> so you've got three twos to work in, so the guys will, uh, will have to keep a fairly furious work rate up. Indeed, but uh, nice both guys... left there again and again from Reese. Luckily he gets behind his jab nearly every single time. Ooh, Ooh. that's a solid shot. Lovely, yeah, stick yeah. right just towards the end of the round there. Comes in with the body shot, beats the left hook over the top. Straight left as well, very nice. Oh, Ooh, lovely again. right there. Nice receipt. Lovely left hand there, just trying to sort of pull out some counters, but they're uh, they're engaging. Yeah, there's not a lot of sort of single shot whiffing as well as the occasional like the top. You see, like almost every single time, Reese leads his shot with a jab. Oh, oh, nice left hand there, nice left hand as he was falling backwards there. Yeah, that's it. Just a slip more than anything else. Yeah, I was going to say it wasn't actually a knockdown. No, was, oh, nice left hand again. Yeah, he is landing that really, really well, is Reese. But uh, the team very much oh. still in there. Eats a couple of shots over yes. the top. Three very nice shots from there. A lot of these big shots are whiffing, as you said yourself, but the ones that are landing are landing pretty hard. Yeah, that's straight. That's good. The team really needs to keep his right hand in a slightly different guard to take on the southpaw left hand because he's he's throwing his when he's throwing his jab, he actually drops his right hand down to his sternum as opposed to keeping it up right by the side of his head. And it's why he's eating that that right hand uh, that left hand counter, sorry, over the top. Yeah. If you just watch that right hand come across, he's uh, he's not defending as well as he'll need to against the southpaw fighter. He'd be fine against an orthodox guy, but yeah, it may be that he's not as experienced with southpaws as, as maybe some fighters are at this level. You see there as he's chasing. Do you see that hand constantly by his hips almost as, yeah. he's, as he's throwing it? So uh, Reese should keep doing exactly what he's doing, which is force the jab so the uh, the counter punch comes and then land the right hand, uh, left hand there like he has just again. He's attacking the body viciously, obviously yeah. wants some payback for last time he was in the cage here. <laughs> and he was, uh, yeah, his body ripped savagely by yeah. the, uh, the opponent last time. Pace just dropping off a little bit now. A lot of big shots landed earlier this round, a lot more power, a lot more commitment to the punches this round. That's First right. round, the sort of feeling out phase, as they always say, but... Um, I think there was a bit of a clash of heads there, Rich. Yeah, I don't know if he maybe hit his elbow by accident as well. Just closing the distance, it's fine. Well, we said from the beginning of the fight, didn't we, that these guys are happy to work in close, and unfortunately these yeah. kind of things accidentally do happen. Yeah, I think he just was coming, no tension he was just coming forward there and Reese ended up biting his head, basically. Um, He'll be fine. You'll just, you can't let these things worry you. you no. Just kind of say it happened. It wasn't intentional. Move on. Like, yeah, let's just crack on. Um, and that's what Reese is doing and, and the team is saying. 
I want to see, uh, want to see Reese to go back to uh, to that jab as well because yeah. he's, he's backing his big shots a bit more. Like yeah. he, uh, and Reese has got a really nice straight left. Yeah, that that big power shot from back to southpaw is nice. They do keep clashing though. He's, they're kind of like trying to roll into each other at this point. Part of that because it's the uh, commitment from Reese's left hand. That he's yeah. The team finds his range, or you know. Uh, starts working angles off to the side a little bit better mm -hmm. you see he's constantly angling like away from Reese's power hand yeah but it's not it's not enough to stop him getting Shepard back the other way by like the short right hooks and the short jabs so uh, I want to see like I said I want to see Reese go back to, to jabbing first um, a lot of that round he spent landing I mean he was landing though don't, don't yeah, get it yeah. wrong Do you know what I mean he was landing that, that good shot but I'd like to see him set up a little bit more because he's just very successful in that early round, that early first round, doing exactly what he's doing right now. Mm -hmm. And that's putting his hands on the jaw of, uh, of Mateen Saxby. Oh, oh, shot the body there, nice little left through. And again. Good shot, that from Reese. Yeah. Another lovely left hand. Again. He's just landing that left whenever he wants, he isn't is, he? He is. I think if, if Reese was fighting with a little bit more, maybe precision, a bit, a little bit less, trying to take his man's head off, he'd be more successful uh, in each exchange, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I mean, he's, he's landing really well. well. They're really good shots. They're well timed, and they are accurate. And he's, he's barely missed a single left hand, mm. you know, in this whole fight. But if he was putting less on him, could he be maybe working his man a bit more, throwing it more often? I think he probably could have increased his output. As it is, I think he's very much doing enough. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a furious it's, pace, it's a good isn't fight. it? It's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a good fight to watch. Both guys are making it a good fight, but uh, lovely, lovely one too there. Very nice. again. You see his movement's still really sharp. He's angling off there. He never just kind of comes forward in a straight line. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he's, he'll land a third on there and then he'll angle off again. That's it. Mateen's going to have to do a little bit more than uh, yeah, covering up absorbing Yeah, we've not seen a lot from Mateen this round. Um, but those shots will wear you down. He's eating big shots. Absolutely. He's standing well. I mean, he's in the pocket. He landed a lovely shot of his own there as well. And again, not sure if that was... Just, uh, too little too late, I think. And that's it. It's in the books. Going to go to the judges, Rich, to see what they think of it. But from my point of view, that was a really entertaining bit of boxing. Yeah, good start to the night. Um, really pleased with that. I think Reese will be really happy with what he's achieved this time as mm -hmm. opposed to, you know, the fight getting... Short, shortly finished last time on those body shots. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. They score the bout with a unanimous decision. Your winner in the blue corner. Who